his grace community hello to all my subscribers i'm so happy that you're here i'm so happy that we get to share this moment together my name is ingrid i am 24 years old i am the founder of by his grace co on instagram so if you do not follow me go follow that is at underscore underscore by his grace co again i am a daughter of a king i am a believer of jesus christ and again i'm just so happy that you are here this past week on in our instagram page on by his grace co we were i was talking about i was sharing my testimony how god redeemed me how god healed me how i fell to the feet of jesus christ so and now we're just so basically this video we'll be talking about, we'll be talking about my redemption story thank the lord that he found me when he did thank the lord that he just did so many wonderful things in my life i actually did grow up in the church i've been knowing about jesus since i was like a baby to be honest with you my mom she's a christian woman she is an og for the lord <laughs> in type of woman i cannot be any more grateful to have a mom like her to have a mom that has prayed over me a mom that has taught me so many wonderful things how to learn how to pray learn how to praise god learn how to sing so wonderful and i thank my mom for just taking me to church every weekend and learning learning about god ace me and running up and down the hallways you know getting my ear pulled sometimes because i used to misbehave in the middle of service talking to my little sister you know like sitting the bench and then just talking to my little sister so crazy but yes i did grow up in the church and um and my parent my dad actually was not christian so i grew up in a household where my mom was christian and my dad wasn't christian so it was very very tough and it presented a lot of problems my parents split up when i was about yeah when i was eight years old so it left a tremendous void in my life you know not understanding like why my parents separated why you know why this had happened to my family like 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 just having that pain having that void of just my parents splitting up and i remember as i was growing up as well that is just having that that pain of not having my dad around and not having him present in my life and that just brought so much rebellion against my mom you know and when i was about like in, like i said my adolescent years so about like 10 10 to 13 i used to just you know started gaining like this attitude you know bad attitude towards my mom but still being obedient to her still you know going to church you know like i said my mom she's always been for the lord so every weekend she would take us to church every monday or wednesday we would go to church and, and just pray and shout out to my aunt and uncle for also taking us to church because we just like i said we just grew up around the church me and my sister and like i said my mom's side of the family is all christian but i remember at one point i was about like i think i was like like 15 i remember like 15 when i started going to church i think i just got you know bored of going to church you know bored of that same in the same routine bored of it and i was just like mom i'm just not going to church no more like i'm just done and i didn't realize that at that age well basically at that age you guys must know that around you know 10 to 15 like well 10 to 12 is like one stage um but 12 to like 15 no 13 to 15 actually 13 to 15 you're just like growing up you think you know it all but you don't and i remember i was just going like against my mom like thinking that i knew it all you know and it's such a early age i remember um just trying to fill voids in my life and just well now i understand that i was trying to fill that void of not having my dad around and with you know just having little crushes like boyfriends like in high school and stuff and you know and also just having other voids i was a girl that was abused at an early age repeatedly um from an uncle of mine and it was very tough to understand 
fans you know I didn't really come into terms with what was happening until I was a little bit older actually when I surrendered my life to Christ in just going through a like, very like confused blurred out time you know when I was really really younger and, and like I said didn't understand what had happened to me until I got older and I remember um, when I was in high school I used to hang around with like older people like older crowds and just like, getting myself in the wrong environment and I remember at 16 I started working and I remember just going to church and like here and there like very few times and my mom used to tell me like let's go to church let's this and that but i'm like no mom like i don't want to go to church no more like this and this and that and that's you know that's when i started gaining my own way you know going out you know to like clubs and party scenes smoking drinking and um and not understanding that basically everything that i was doing was just maybe like coping and just filling voids or just trying to be in the scene with stuff but it was just not the environment that god wanted wanted for me personally and basically i was just you know kind of destroying my life little by little you know not destroying it but like but basically destroying it, but just going into a wrong path and I remember um, when I was 16, I had fallen in love and I had a really bad breakup. I really had a really tough time after that breakup, not understanding like why, um, why, why the breakup had happened, why was I going through this? And I remember at a point in time where I grew into a depression because of that and I remember just being completely hurt by it. Just you know, devastated about so many things, just being angry at the world with so much, so much stuff, so much baggage in my life. And I remember at one point, I am crossing the street after work. I remember I had a thought of, what if a car were to crash into me? Would anyone care about me? Did any, like, would anyone like love me a little bit more? And I remember that day I was just like, I remember just telling myself like something's not okay with you something's wrong with you and I remember getting repeatedly so many times you know after the age of 16 getting invited to church all the time like people used to tell me like let's go to church you know let's do this let's do that and you know I would go to church here and there but it wasn't something that like where I was surrendering myself completely to the Lord and I remember um, one time just getting um, and just getting invited into church and um there was just so many breakdowns in my life honestly and i remember this one point in time really marked me because i remember like the environment that i was in was just not meant for me and i remember getting a dream that night and just just being reminded that you know what and that where i was you know mentally where i was like the people that are around me the environment that i was in was just not for me and i remember my friend david um shout out to him for inviting me to church and but my friend david had invited me to church and he um he was like let's go let's go ingrid like let's go to church like god is good like god loves you and i remember you know just having that resonate in my my head for like a couple of days but then i would just brush it up and be like yeah like i'll go but um then i remember not going but then i had gone after because he invited me again and i was like okay you know what let's just go to church so i did i went to church i remember i was like so nervous i was like oh like they're gonna judge me like this and this and that like uh oh, just being nervous just going back to church but honestly it was like the best decision of my life i remember like that day i went to a youth service and went to um, a church named my current church Ebenezer Word of Hope and man they're big they've been a blessing to my life I love my church so shout out to Ebenezer Word of Hope I'll be linking the page right down below if you guys want to come visit it's, we reside in Maryland so definitely come right through and I remember going that Thursday to church you know not expecting anything um yeah honestly just not expecting i just went I, I had a really good time and i remember like i went to after that thursday i went to church four days straight 
I remember that um, that Saturday I went to um, to a vigil. We call it. It's I think it's called a vigil in English, but in Spanish it's called a vigilia. So that means like you're at church, like from let's say it starts at like eight or nine to like three in the morning. To, yeah, basically like three, four in the morning, three in the morning. Okay, and if you take it back to the ogs it used to be like five in the morning at church it would be from like eight to five in the morning it's so crazy but yes and that's how you know we get our jesus going on so i remember that day i was just like man okay i might as well just, they remember getting invited i was like you know what I might as well just go if i can go to the club and be at the club at three in the morning then i can go to church <laughs> i remember telling myself that but it's the truth and i remember just going in the vigil i remember a friend of mine of uh, my friend cynthia had prayed for me uh, and that weekend that sunday i went up i remember going back to church the next day and I remember they made an altar call and I, there was just something in me it was just like just just go just go like there's just such a disposition in my heart to just go into the altar and just surrender everything to God you know before I had reached that in that place it was it came from like a broken like such a bro I had such a brokenness in my heart I, I didn't know how to heal correctly from a bunch of things that had happened to me, like being molested, being um, just not having my dad around, you know, going through really tough breakups, coping in the wrong ways. And I didn't know that there was true, 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 true healing from everything. I was just mad at angry at the world, mad at everything that had happened to me. And I remember, um, there was this one song before I had gone to church in that that week. I remember, I think the week before I went to church. No, before, not, not that I went to church, but the week before I went to church. I remember going upstairs in, in my old house and my cousins had played this one song and it said, with God, you're not going to, with God, you're not going to feel cold. With God, you're going to feel warm. And I remember like that song had marked me so much i was just like how sweet is that like there were so many things going on in my time it, during that time when i heard that song like i was just hurt from so many things and i didn't like i didn't know what to do with that hurt you know and and you know what fortunately i remember like i took that i remember like looking up that song on my phone and i went downstairs like quickly right after and i remember you know i played the song I, I put it so loud in my in my ears and i remember playing that song and i just remember just literally i i kneeled down to the floor and i started crying and i remember telling myself like if you just pray if you just pray and cry to god that he's gonna make you feel better and you know he he really did you know after that week i went to church and um and I remember just giving it all, like I remember like and in, like just giving it all that Sunday and that altar call, you know, my brokenness and everything and and I know that inside of me I needed a change and you know what? That's just like what God does. He renews your story, he rewrites your story all over again. I did not know what life it consisted of and like consisted of with jesus christ and to be honest with you it's been like the best three years of my life it's been such a crazy beautiful journey i've cried so many times i've laughed so many times and you know one thing that i've learned is that god has had me that god that god has me in his hands and that he's truth and that he's light that he's love that he's hope that he's joy and you know what and that through it god just it god's love is so immense that i cannot describe it to you 
I cannot. Once I let God into my heart, once I said yes to the Lord, that's when I really saw the what God, like God's redemption, God's how he redeems me, how he healed me, how he gave me hope when I had none, how he turned my brokenness into fullness and joy how he turned my darkness into my brokenness into joy my sadness into joy and man god has just been really really good in my life and you know what and get to share that with you guys now i really really do and it's trust me it's been really really tough you know to even to even come into terms with a lot of things in my life but then i understand that i understood you know that god has my back that just by reading one verse you know off of off the bible that he can strengthen me that he can um that he can show me love and just by praying that he's with me you know that's what pr prayer is communicating with god and that's that's how you communicate with god just by praying just by talking to god like if he's your friend and god has just been that good in my life and i can't thank god enough for just for all of it for my life itself for this beautiful journey um for him finding me for him choosing me for him loving me and now i have hope now i have hope for the rest of my life and now i have salvation which is god and like god thank you for all of that you know and i'm just so glad you know i'm so so glad that you guys you know have reached that you guys are here listening to this video trust me it's it's been a journey um to even share this with you guys and i'm just so glad and i hope that you're blessed through this video i hope that you understand god's love a little bit more and that if god can do it with me then that he can do it with you too that you are chosen that you are loved and that god has your back 25 8 that man god is just looking out for you that god loves you and that life without jesus is nothing i found true meaning through god i found life through god and i'm living the best life i'm living my best life through jesus christ and I'm, I'm honestly truly living my best life through jesus christ okay and i'm just so glad that i get to share my redemption story with you guys i hope that again that you're blessed and i hope that you know that you go ahead and share this with somebody that needs hope that needs encouragement that needs a little love a little tlc because god is it's all about TLC. God is all about that. And he gives you life. He gives you life and purpose and meaning. And it's just amazing what God can do in your life. And when you're saying yes, and when you say yes to God, you're saying yes to life. And I'm just, I pray for you. I pray that you get to know God again, that you get to understand God that God is truth, that God is in the way, that God is life, and that without God, we are nothing and nobody. And I'm just so happy and so blessed to have shared this moment, to have shared this story with you guys. I hope again that you get to share this with somebody in need, to, to share this with, again, with someone that really, really needs it, that needs encouragement, that needs hope. And again, that if God is able to do that, if God was able to heal, redeem, give me hope to strengthen me, that he can do it with you too. And I pray over your life and I pray that you have nothing but a blessed, blessed day and that I pray to see you soon. And again, if you do not follow me on Instagram, please go follow me at, at underscore underscore by his grace co and again like and subscribe leave a comment let me know what you think and i hope to have more content for you guys soon and again if you have any prayer requests or any questions please i'll be leaving a link right here on in the comments and you guys can send me a dm or an email so have nothing but a blessed day much love and take care you guys okay Bye.